really is the ultimate zombie killing device? Hopefully, it's the brain saw that we're going to review today. Alright, so just a quick overview here with the brain saw. Uh, it is going to be eight shots. Smart AR. Okay. What is the best zombie killing machine? Hopefully, it's the brain saw we're going to be reviewing that here today. Do a quick overview and also talk about the main points here with the Zombie Strike theme, Zombie Strike Run, Zombie Strike Family, if you will. What's going to be the main points? We're going to talk about its three, it's going to have three ratings. It's going to be its effectiveness as a tool. It's going to be you know, actual because it's a contractor. This is like, this is a tool. It's being called together with tools. How effective does it do that job? Next, its effectiveness at killing zombies. It's going to have to kill a lot of zombies. It has to be able to do its job well. So we're going to hopefully be looking into that. You know, how it kills zombies, how well we do there, and, and the things that this is going to offer you over other things in that realm. And then its effectiveness as a nerf blaster. Going into the overview real quick with the brain saw you've got, of course, a nice spinning foam blade of what is probably like a supposed to be like a miter saw blade attached to a chainsaw. So right there, style points. The fact you've got a miter saw blade and a chainsaw blade, that's pretty dope. Then you've got the cool chainsaw handle, the rev switch to rev door miter saw blade. Got the screwdriver priming handle right there that got stuck. There we go. And then you've got kind of the rest of it, your bandolier clips. Door one and strike tack rail, which I think is cool, and then of course your eight barrels. And you would be definitely, you wouldn't be alone if you thought that this was basically a rough cut with a chainsaw attached. There's a lot of similarities there, and it kind of is, but in a lot of ways it's not. It's going to shoot one at a time, it's not going to shoot two at a time, like the rough cut. So it's also got a chainsaw attached, unlike the rough cut. And then of course you have the cool chainsaw handle, you can hold the LMG style. So it's effectiveness as a tool. I'm going to cut a big haven hole in my garage, put a window in so that I can see my neighbors and as they pass by wave and say hello. Um, how well is this going to do the trick? So I'll rev it up first and I learned this little trick on some uh, homesteading TV shows. You can throw the chainsaw to kind of help your, your rev, if you will. So what you do is you kind of hold the rip cord and the handle here and you throw it down instead of Pulling the cord, you're more just holding onto the cord and letting the chainsaw's weight do the trick. I'm going to wrap it up. Clearly, this is pushing the brain saw to its limits a little bit, but I think with a little level grease, it would be possible. I'm going to rate it 3 out of 10. This fakeness is a real tool. I do believe you could use this as a hammer in a pinch. You, you know, had a little nail, you could use that to pound something in. That's effective as a killing zombies. Of course, the chainsaw miter blade combo does add style points to be able to melee. When they get up close, you can get a nice swing down, you know, push, you know, get even a jab in there. That's all pretty nice. You got, of course, the amount of zombie killing. Firepower at your disposal. Slam fire tape or other fire. Oh, that's pretty awesome at killing zombies. I'm gonna rate this a solid seven out of ten for killing zombies. Only because I think nowadays it is outclassed by a few other things. I'm gonna up it to an eight just because of the miter saw chainsaw blade combo. Next, it's used as a nerf blaster, and this is kind of where I guess the series part of the review comes in. My thoughts on the chainsaw. It's fun. It's so much fun. I thrifted this. It only cost me $2. This thing is so much fun. I love the chainsaw rubbing. I love the, the fact that you feel like that part LMG, part shotgun, part chainsaw fun. Um, the final barrel here on the right side, I had the hand thing there. Um, that one is particularly weak on mine, unfortunately. But probably elite par, like the dart pig sticks out maybe a little farther than any of the other ones too. So 
It was thrifted. Who knows what happened to it before? Could have been even a factory defect. But I love this. And that's just so much cool factor. The fact that it looks like it's, you know, screwdriver and chainsaw and miter saw blade and all that stuff just kind of cobbled together. I love the brain saw. I'd rate its effectiveness as a nerf blaster probably at, unfortunately, like a 6. But the cool factor, I think it bumps it up to a 7.5. I think it's a solid nerf blaster, especially if you're going to be able to thrift it like I was able to. I've seen these a few times, so I don't think they're too hard to find. Would highly recommend the brain saw. And in closing, thank you, Nerf, for making nerf blasters for us um, more mechanically inclined people. I'm hoping to see the nerf um, shop vac as well as the nerf uh, leaf blower here in the future.